Hello and welcome to the JR's Gaming Podcast, where we talk about the rise of Nintendo and what this great gaming franchise has in store for us in the future of gaming. And of course, the country from which it was born, Japan. I'm joined as always with my co-host and good friend, Rowan Fern. Rowan Fern, I've just, I've just been thinking... Wait, like, but, the... but who are you though? But who are you? Oh, <laughs> I've done it again. I've done, it's been almost been two it's years. And I still mess this up. Me. I'm your host, Judah Terry. There we go. Yeah, there, there I, we go. I keep missing that bit out. I keep on saying that I'm. Uh, everyone just is like. So everyone's listening to this Barry, podcast. It does flow. It does flow well when you like miss out yours as well. So it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fine without you, Judah. It flows no, well I'm without your saying, name. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, I, Rowan, like, man. Just, I thought you were... Was... It's an easy mistake to make. Yeah, it, it, is, it is an easy mistake to make. Um, yeah, I, it's been almost two years of doing the podcast and I still fumble it. But it's just, I was just... As I was saying, man, it's been... A lot, I thought last night, I was just looking back over the podcast. I was, I was just scrolling through every single episode we released. And I was just like, I'm so proud. I'm just so proud of us, man. We've done it for almost two years. We've just podcasted. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. We yeah. just kept this thing up. We've kept on doing it. We've kept on hitting the grind. It's just, it's just really nice. I genuinely just, yeah, just very happy we're doing this podcast. I'm, I've got to say, I'm proud to be the host of this podcast, and I'm sure you're proud to be the co-host. Are you? Are you proud? Absolutely, absolutely. But anyway, Rowan, as always, how are you doing this week, man? How, how's your week been? You've, uh, you've got some stuff it's in the plan. Been... Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been like it's just been a normal week, really. Not, not too much happening. But I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. I lost my 3DS. I can't find it. I don't oh, know where it is. Oh no, that is a crime. You've no, lost your 3DS. Right, but I ca- it can't have gone far. It's only in, it, I've got to, like it's only going to be in this house. So I've it got can't have. Look. It can't have wandered off too much, unless unless your yeah, dog no. and cat pl- plotted a plan to th- overthrow your 3DS. And they over the fence. Yeah, yeah. And they somehow <laughs> they somehow got rid of it. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, where do you think it could have been? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a dickhead I mean, to say that because everyone says, "Oh, where did you last put it?" And it's like you want to smack them around the face because you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, Joseph made a video about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, like where, where do you like gen- genuinely lost it? Have you got tried looking? I bet you have. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, I've not looked every single place, obviously. I, that's yeah. what I need to do, really. But, like, obviously, oh, I've, I've obviously just put it somewhere and forgotten where I've put it. That is that's annoying. I really, yes, I have to get it back. I've got it, to get it back. You've got to get it back. I mean, it's going to cost the world to get a new one. It probably cost more than is, a Switch it, to get a new one. Yeah, and it would cost my time as well to remod it and do all that stuff again. And then yeah. I'd have to put all the games I had back on it again. Oh, yeah, that would be a palaver. Because all your save progress is you have to start again. Yeah, because my SD yeah. card's in, in there. So like, yeah. imagine I've just left it outside, and like the storm that's coming is just going to absolutely <laughs> wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you just left it on the garden table, and then your dad goes, yeah. "Oh, and why is there like some uh, broken console out there?" And you're like, "No!" <laughs> like, oh look, a broken 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> I achievement unlocked. You found a broken 3DS. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be. Yeah. That sounds annoying. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't think I've ever lost a, my my 3DS, 2DS, whatever it is. It's a 2DS, but it's like. It's the same thing. It's just I don't. I always I never understood. Uh, well, for the longest time when I was a kid, I never understood why they called the 2DS the 2DS because the games weren't in 2D, and it no, still said it, the it 3DS loading the, screen. They but got yeah. rid of the 3D feature, it, but, like, but yeah, they got like, rid of the I mean, 3D. Still in 3D, so they should have called it the Nintendo 3DS without the 3D. Yeah. But let's be honest, guys. <laughs> who actually who actually used the 3D feature? It was weird, wasn't it? Uh, I. Sometimes I turn it on like cause that, this is the thing like with with some yeah. games it works with some it doesn't. So if you turn it on like a game that it doesn't work, you'll just get a headache. Yeah, you will just get a headache, and it's like it's you know when you look at like a moving three D picture for too long, it's like because your brain's like frying. Yeah, cause that's why it says yeah. on the back of the box that you can't like it says like, oh don't turn on the three D for too long or you're gonna die. <laughs> don't turn on the three D for too long, you'll die. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's skull, die. Bo- skull bones and whatever it is that sign. Emoji, oh man. Yeah. I've got to turn my phone off on the podcast. Oh. That's, that's, that's a be- that's a bad rule. That is. <laughs> I thought you got the pan up on there. I have, but like, I've got to turn the notifications off. But like, I've got to turn doing disturb. That's not like the rule of the studio, isn't it? Don't, otherwise, yeah. what, if you get a phone call while recording, it's not gonna be very fun. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. So you've lost your 3ds, but you, you are saving um, money, I believe, Rome. What are you saving oh, yeah. money for? What, I'm what's saving this? Money. Yeah, I included that just because. I'm not, I've still not spent any of my money. I've still got just £100 sat in my bank yep. account. 
That's a, that's a brave thing to do. I mean, I don't think... Uh, yeah, 100 pounds with me, it's, it's rare that it sits for a, a l less than I mean, three weeks than I spend it. You know, like, at least as far as I know, a member of my family could be like taking a tenner out of it every day and then I wouldn't know. And then I'd look and there'd be just 50p in there. <laughs> oh, no. Your parents just like secretly want the money and they're like, I'm going to take it. <laughs> the rule of before, spend. Though, like, they said, like, they said um, they, one of my... I think it was... Oh, I can't remember who it was, but someone wanted to buy something yeah. for the family. So they said, oh, can I, ha can I use some of your birthday money and I'll pay you back. Oh, they never paid you I back. Think they, I think no, I think no, they might. I think they might have done. I, I think I think they did. I think I made them. I made sure that they did because I wasn't gonna. <laughs> I was like, I think it was like a yeah. tenner, and I was like, I, you're not having that tenner. I'm making sure I'm getting that back. And they so, did. They pay you back that tenner. I think they did. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I made you, sure they did. you will make sure. Like, <laughs> if they didn't, you're like, I yeah, don't no, know. I don't exactly know what I'm saving money for. I'm just saving it because that's like, quite I'm, wise, you know. Like, I don't know why, but just saving money for the sake of saving is very good. Because it could come into use. Yeah. Because you it could come into use at some point in the in the future when you need it. Like, you know, and I like, at the moment I'm just just only just applying for all sorts of jobs. So I'm pretty much broke. And I had to spend all my new money on a, on a new phone because Oh what jobs are you applying? Well, the radio station. Funny enough. Ooh, following my dreams. Uh BBC. BBC so, what? BBC what? Yeah, which BBC one? Radio There's... Leicester. BBC Radio Ooh, Leicester. Oh, nice. Yeah. What are you going to be doing on that? I'm going to be shadowing the team. Do? So yeah, of course I'm not. I don't, of course I'm not. Doc Leicester's a huge place, you know. It, I'm in that area. I'm in the area of Leicestershire, and the city of Leicester is not the city of, of Leicestershire. And uh, so BBC Radio Leicester uh, have got apprenticeships open and radio. And uh, nice. so I'm going to ring them up. And also, if I don't get into BBC, I'll just apply for other radio stations and be like, listen, I want to shadow your work. I want to volunteer. Uh, I'm a podcaster. I'll show them this podcast. I've got two years of experience of doing a podcast. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to see where it goes, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm following my dreams finally and becoming a DJ, radio DJ, whatever it is. Somebody who says, DJ. <laughs> DJ! <laughs> no, not really. Tony, <laughs> kind of, you all know that joke. Oh, gosh. So boring. basically, should we tell the story real quickly? So basically, uh, uh, let me tell the first half, right? Well, um, <laughs> me and Ron used to go to school together when we were kids. <laughs> And in music right. lesson, we had these electric Yamaha keyboards. And I think everybody yeah, who is an, an, a, a G listening to this podcast would know what we're talking about. In the Yamaha keyboard, there's this button. <laughs> I think it was the, yeah. uh, the older version or something. There's this button that, like, every time you press it, it goes, DJ! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on this does. electric keyboard, and like so, when we were like all could get the electric keyboards out of class, like we would get, we would, we would like annoy the absolute living crap out of our teachers because when the, the, like when there was like a serious moment, so like the teacher was like, okay, guys, he told us all off for something, and then it was really quiet. Like, I don't want to hear you speak one more time. Someone would just press the button, and all of a sudden, it'd be silence. To be DJ, <laughs> and the teacher yeah. would be like, and then I think I remember my, my teacher was from like. North UK, who's like, No, Judah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like from the Harrodshire, I don't know, some Sheffield, <laughs> Manchester, I don't know. Manchester, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah Manchester. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do you remember oh, that, yeah. man? As yeah, I, I, was, yeah, I also awkwardly. remember dropping a keyboard and he was like, No, Judah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, because yeah, it like, fell off the desk, yeah. and then it was just like face down on the floor. Like, you yeah. could... he's like, I don't want to send you outside. <laughs> yeah, but like, what's it like? It, the keyboard wasn't even damaged, and he still yeah. like, erupted. Yeah, he just might, he was the old like, teacher he, like, at yelled, school. He, he said he said it as if like you, the keyboard had just snapped in half. Yeah, yeah. he said it as if I'd like just committed like a, a class A crime if that exists. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> It's like I used it to really get so pissed yeah. yeah, but it's like it really hurt him, like in the heart. When he <laughs> <back. laughs> That's what he said to his girlfriend when, when he was a little boy. When she broke up with him, he's like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> don't break my heart." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. That's, a, that's that's the story of the DJ button. Yeah, that's the story the of the DJ button and my head teacher, my old head. <laughs> that, that was memories, man, but yeah. Um, all seriousness, yeah. <laughs> Back it's to a good job we still don't go to that school because otherwise we'd probably get told off. As you say it now, <laughs> yeah, it's like, funny you now we both graduated. We can talk as much as we can about the school. It's funny. And um, I'll say like, oh, you mentioned yeah. us on live TV. Well, yeah, not live TV. Live like, TV. You mentioned us on BBC and Sky News. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. Live TV. <laughs> this is the JR's Gaming Podcast. <laughs> oh, oh dear. What do you want to talk about next? Yeah, so... oh. As I was saying, back to, back to what I was saying, yeah, I'm applying to be a radio 
guy. And hopefully I'll get into that sort of stuff. I can be paid, you know, I'll probably do a part-time radio job. Um, And yeah, I, I, I hopefully can get a, we'll get, eventually be a radio host, whatever it would be. Uh, Will will, will you tune in? Breakfast with Judah. I don't know. Yeah. Did we mention this last time? Why it's called breakfast? Yeah. I don't know. It's because it's like 6 a.m. It starts at 6 a.m. Like breakfast with Bradley. Do you put the the, the radio warm? Are you eating your Cheerios or whatever? (laughs) Your Cheerios or your cereal or your cornflakes. Yeah. Or your or your cocoa pops, and it's like you yeah, tu- yeah, you tune yeah. in. It's like BBC. It's like breakfast with Bradley at six a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hello everyone. My name's Bradley, and I'm about to. Uh, okay, yeah. some like radio stations I've heard in the past don't even say like their name. They just go like breakfast, and then it goes to like. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only like, British it's like people a BBC get this radio stuff. Breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I've heard that one. It's always like. Or it's like, what's it? Gem. 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 Breakfast. Oh, yeah. I don't know, mate. Dinner. (laughs) Lunch. (laughs) Imagine being like, because you know when the people who say that have to get high. Imagine like that's your job saying like breakfast. Yeah, Yeah, imagine that. Like imagine you're paid to say at the radio station, breakfast. Like that's it. That's your job. Because, I mean, I mean, yeah. for people that are not from the US, they probably won't understand what we're talking about because this is British no. radio. Uh, but this is British I don't radio humour. like in the, in the US. Yeah. I wish it, oh, man, God forbid me and Rowan have our own radio show. That would be a lethal weapon. Um, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, the good thing about podcasting is like, we're available on all streaming platforms that... I, I think to be, for, to, to be fair, I think radio is slowly dying, to be fair. Like, radio is massively used, you know, don't get me wrong, by a lot of the, I don't know, people in their 30s and old, older... You know, our dads and mums all listen to it. But I think my gen- me and your generation, we listen to podcasts. Like that's mm. our radio. So in one sense, me and you, Ryan, we host a radio show for our generation. Because like the next sort of generation, like our generation and the generation before us, they're just coming up. What's that? Generation Z, I, Y. I don't know what it even is. Um, Z. Gen Z, <laughs> like they, they, they I, 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 people are more so listening to podcasts, I think, than radio these days. Because podcasts yeah, are just more, yeah. they're just kind of taking the taking the road here, um, and, and in some in some respect, you know, now our podcast is now it's it's, it's recognisable. Like you type it in on Google, it's funny. It's like JR's game podcast. It's run by Judah and Rowan. <laughs> it's yeah, like, I, yes. think, I think radio is now more for like British dad. Yeah, for like, oh, <laughs> I mean, I think both of our my dad listens to the radio. Does your dad listen to the radio? I, I think he does. So, yeah. I remember your dad was driving me and you somewhere or something. Or he was giving me a lift home or something. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. He, I remember your dad had rocking out gem or something. Or was it kiss? It was some. Other... I can't some... remember what it was. 80s kiss. radio. <laughs> I don't even know. I've so... not heard that in ages. Oh, it's, I, think, I don't even know. You know, I'm really bad. I should be listening to the radio more so I can apply for the job. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dad listens to classic FM. So I come downstairs and I feel yeah. like I'm in an Italian mafia movie. It's like dun 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 dun. Oh dun, yeah. Dun. Uh, I just thought I glided into I had, the living room. I, I, I laughed like I laughed my ass off like like what's it? A few you days laughed ago your because, ass off. Why? Um, what happened? Do, do you want to guess what cha- what YouTube channel it was? Oh, but we're at YouTube now, are we? What what happened? Um, okay, okay, so I want to guess. YouTube channel. But, There's like, something. Guess. I know. I know what you mean. It was it was the whole dropouts drama with Snowy <laughs> Joe. <laughs> No, okay, no, I watched that. I watched that one. I watched the truth, but yeah. you know, uh, they they put on their second channel. Yeah, right. They made like a new channel. Yeah, they <laughs> DRP. <laughs> what? what? Did, you, did you see like the Zoom call video? Oh no, I've seen the thumbnail for it. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> no, but basically, like yeah. they, they like just hire like a teacher like to do maths. Yeah. No, oh, I've <laughs> seen that one. Yeah, he's like, get on everybody, let me do your maths. Uh, they've also, <laughs> and he's like, no, like, and they're like, shut up, man. <laughs> and it's like this guy that's definitely been like smuggled into the country by boat. <laughs> by boat. <laughs> by ferry. Oh no, no, no I've it, seen like, them. It was like a what's it? Yeah. Was like, and they, they they did like a therapy one as well. Yeah, like, they, like, they just troll like, Zoom like, calls. Sorry, sorry, yeah, like Sorry Joe was just like, I just want to be. Happy, you know, like people like just <laughs> make fun of my nose when I walk down the street, <laughs> and then like, the it, biggest, like the, can we just say like, though? <laughs> if I think, wait, <laughs> and then like Snowy Joe just started crying, like, like, and then Ramps did it, 
And then, yeah. like, you know that the guy, that other guy, who's like, b- like behind the camera, he came, he came into like Ramsey's room and started crying as well. <laughs> and then Snowy Joe got up, went into the same room, and then he was crying. As yeah, well. I know it was ridiculous. Honestly, for <laughs> those of so you who don't know, because I mean, they're quite. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Dropout's probably the idiots of YouTube. Let's just be honest. Like, they just don't care what they say. That's the funny thing about Dropouts. Is like they That's why I think they've got an audience. It's because they just don't care. Like they say some pretty questionable stuff. <laughs> yeah, they do. Like, they do cross the boundaries a bit, and like they still, but they, yeah, and they, they just troll people. <laughs> they're just like biggest of idiots. Yeah, yeah, and also they had Christmas dinner in IKEA. Yeah, exactly. Like, they do. They'll go into a, a IKEA and just don't have Christmas dinner. Oh yeah, they, had, they <laughs> live there as well. They like he set up his Xbox. Oh, it's like, so silly. Showroom. Have you seen? Have you seen the podcast they started? They're, they're following in our ways. They've got the Set Eight podcast now. They've they've, they've started this podcast called the Set yeah. Eight podcast. Mm. And it is, yeah, no, I've, I've, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, I, 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 listen, I listened to the first episode, and yeah, mate, about, like, they're the, gonna um... get cancelled, mate. I'm just being honest. <laughs> what about the, uh, the 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 video that about the drama, the truth? I watched it in full, right? Yeah, what I did you, as what well. What do you think about it? What do you think? So, about it? Cause I know, I know who that guy is that he was talking about. Let's, let's break it down. Let's house. break it down for people who don't. Because I, I bet, I bet, I think eighty percent of our listeners do not know what we're talking about. So there's these yeah. YouTubers, right? Um, British people called Dropouts. Uh, by the name of there are two YouTubers called Snowy Joe and Ramps, and they run a YouTube channel with like two hundred thousand subscribers called Dropouts. And they go basically they do pranks. They go around the UK just being idiots, you know, like sneaky. Yeah, but he's doing what the Beta Squad used to do, like doing pranks, like drive through pranks you know, all yeah. that sort of stuff um and basically uh, they they had these they had members like a bit like beta squad they have like ramp snowy joe they have uh, some other two dudes and they have manta this guy called manta who was, was like the well, he used to be the manager in, in in like quotation marks i put there um uh, but yeah he used to be this um this dude that, that used to like do videos with them back in the day and then only just recently they've been like having beef like Manta left dropouts I think Manta last year made a video out of the blue like just yeah saying, and oh, out of the blue I... Manta just said um, you know dropouts were like shit and the truth about dropouts and they're rubbish and Snowy Joe's bad and they, they made this massive video like just completely like down talking the dropouts um, and then and then I saw both videos I watched both videos in full I don't know I, I just love YouTube drama and this is probably like again like Ru- Rowan you should probably hop on this for your YouTube, I don't know, like, it's a Rowan Rants video, this is. Like, um, it, it brings... The, the thing is, like, Matt, I saw Manta's video. I didn't quite get what Manta did. Because I, I watched Manta's video, I was like, okay, fair enough. And then I watched Snowy Joe's video, and I was like, actually, Snowy Joe's got the upper end here. Cause he Snowy kinda, Joe. Yeah, because he broke down what Manta did, and Manta was kind of being a hypocrite. Because he was like, oh, you're... Ba-, he was like, he was being a bit of a hypocrite. Like, oh, they're making jokes, like, when they're... He's making five-year-old jokes, but Manta did the exact same thing. I don't like, you know, what I yeah, mean, he's he yeah. he kind of being a hypocrite. Um, and Snowy Joe had a good point, to be fair. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, again, I'm not involved. Like, I'm not involved, but <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. Like, again, it's not my mind to, to step in, really. I don't, I don't really have an opinion. But yeah, I've, I've, I, I have been watching Snowy Joe for a long time because he's quite funny. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, um. In your in your plan, it says Comet might end the world on April twenty fourth. I mean, I've I've, so I've heard about. Yeah, I wanted this. to. I was going to talk Is about. Is it actually yeah. going to happen? So let's move on. Uh, so yeah, Rowan, I want to. I was actually going to talk to you, the astronomer here, about um, what's going on. So as you guys know, Rowan co-host sitting here in the studio with me is in fact an astronomer amateur astronomer he has a massive telescope that costs six hundred thousand quid. He's looking out the window with it every night. Not that much. I'm joking. Uh, but, um, yeah. So Rowan. If you have been online on TikTok lately, the scaremongering social media of YouTube, there has been a video circulating on TikTok, basically where this comet, um, they're saying this comet is going to hit Earth. And um, basically, it's saying in eight, by April 24th, it's going to be the closest it's ever, it's ever been to Earth. Um, now, oh, I think we've all heard, we've all heard, we've all heard stories, haven't we? Yeah. Of, 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 happened, yeah. Oh, gosh, this happens every fucking year. <laughs> every fucking Honestly. year. Every, every year. All right. Yeah, I know. Uh, but here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, man. Here's the thing, right? With this comet, we've been monitoring it for over 50 years, and um, and they said, like, mm-hmm. after and they, they forgot the track of it. And then recently, scientists were like, oh, you know, that massive, stupid-looking comet, like, coming towards Earth, maybe should we, we should track it again, you know? <laughs> it's been 50 years. Maybe should, we should start tracking it again. And then, yeah, it's going to pass by, bypass Earth. Now, here's the thing. It's got a 1 in 1,700 chance of hitting the Earth. A one in- oh, wow. Uh, but if it hits the Earth, we're all dead. 
Big goners, mate. Big goners. I guess that's still a chance. One Just, in, but there is it? still a chance. And here's the thing, man. I I do not really give in to all this. Like, if the world ends, honestly, I don't care. Like, the world ends, I'm dead. Fine, okay. That's it. We're all dead. But <laughs> I'm just we saying, die, we die. if we die, we die. But the thing is, um, it's just interesting to know because I think, here's the thing, right? Because we keep hearing this all the time. I was like, yeah, but this, this particular occasion has been going around a bit more. And then I knew it was kind of a thing now when I looked on the news. So, you know, the news app on your iPhone. Yeah. Uh, I was scrolling through that and then it, then it was on the news, like the sun. I was like, oh. Oh, okay, okay, you know, but it's made the news now, maybe. Then the radio, then I switched on the radio. A comet might hit the Earth, and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, maybe we should talk about it now. Right, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, it's just interesting, you know, to think there are these giant, massive monstrosities flying about in space, and they could hit the Earth. It is quite a scary thing to think about, and it's scary to think they're passing by us all the time, but this one yeah, they might are, hit yeah. Earth. Right, what are your well, thoughts? Well, here's the thing, right, <laughs> is that... I'm I'm pretty sure NASA, right, which is like the people who handle like most of like space and stuff. Mm. I mean, if you haven't heard of NASA, then don't know what you're doing. But mm -hmm. <laughs> basically, yeah. I think they have like uh, certain things. They've made certain things that they can use. Where if like an asteroid's headed to Earth, they can knock it off course. They can. Ooh, but if, it, if that doesn't work, then. It's, yeah, then we're all dead. But they, yeah, so this they, comment though, it's, it's been named the Devil's Meteor, right? It's traveling at one point six like million. Yeah, it's 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 traveling at one point six million miles an hour. How's it? How on earth are we going to stop that? <laughs> like, and it's apparently it's, it's oh, um, but you could hit sixty Earths into this meteor, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You could hit 66, uh, not 60, you could hit, you could fit 66, uh, 66 Earths into this meteor, right? Why are you saying your yeah. thoughts? Let me, let me search it out to give you more well, no, inspiration. Because, okay. Um, what was, what are the chances of it hitting us? One in a hundred thousand, right? Uh, let's have a look. Comic hitting Earth in April. Uh, but yeah, I think it was one in one, uh, uh, here we are. Okay, so, uh. To be fair, every single year, there's always this thing about, oh, comet's yeah. going to hit Earth. Nothing ever happens, right? That's what the I mean. That's what if I mean. The, if the, if the, if, uh, like, I don't know. It depends what the what the odds are. Okay, here we go. We've got one here. Uh, according to NASA, asteroid 20, 2023 TK15 will pass Earth at an extremely close distance of 379,994 uh, uh, km. It may not be ah, kilometers. But... Uh, oh, but wait, it's, wait, this wait. is, which is even closer than the moon. Just to put it into perspective, the uh, distance from right. the moon from the ha Earth is three hundred eighty-four. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Thing about that is, yeah, Earth's gravitational pull pulls. So that's how comet. You know, meteor showers. That's how they yeah. uh, go to Earth because Earth's gravitational pull pulls them in. So if Earth's gravitational pull just decides to pull this in, yeah, game over. That's what I mean, and it's it, it's it's the closest it's ever travelled by Earth. So it's, it, this is a one off. This is a one off, and they're also Wait, saying, "Yeah, we're going to see this like in the sky." Oh it's yeah, uh, man, we could see that it's massive Wait, as well. But it uh, depends what size. side of the Earth it passes on. If it passes by Brazil, we're not going to see it. Oh mate, so this is massive. Uh, this is a huge. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's massive. Um, how large is it? If you can fit sixty Earths in, I'd say it's pretty big. Yeah, if you can fit sixty six Earths in, it's 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 apparently you could fit sixty six Earths in it. So. It's a huge comet, and it's uh, basically a meteorite. It's not even a comet, this, but it's a meteorite. Apparently, this is this is actually it's been from from the uh, the scientists' theory of the at meteorite that wiped well, out the dinosaurs. They're saying it's bigger than that. So I think we should be a bit, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know, um, man. Yeah. I, I well, know, if, that hit, if that hits us, right, then yeah. we're, we're, we are literally We are dead. literally goners. Um, and and it's the, the reason why it's making news is because it's the closest we've ever been. You know, all the other comets, they were just comets, you know. They were like, oh, if that hit the Earth, we'll cause a tiny bit of damage, you know. Oh, uh, you know, It's never been right. this big. You know the you know the uh, comets that you see in <coughs> meteor showers. Yes. Those comets are literally like the size of golf balls. So when they when they yeah. like run down to earth, they just get burnt up in Earth's atmosphere. I mean, so like this is a is giant. Definitely gonna make it. Yeah, this this that's why it's a concern because there is a chance of it hitting the, the I earth. I hope. I hope that when it passes, it yeah. literally. I mean, if it hang on, if it passes by Earth, we'll probably won't. If it's how fast is it going? We probably won't even see it go by. Oh, it's like... It'll probably be quite fast. It's It'll something billion miles per hour. 
So yeah, uh, it's it's insane. Saying a billion miles per hour. Or something fair, like that. We're going quite quick. Like in, in yeah. a, you know, in a blink of an eye, the Earth travels eighteen miles through space. That is, well, I didn't know that. That's a pretty good fact. Um, yeah, I mean, there's also, there's also before there's still more on the space topic. So there's that, and there's also the threat of the solar storm in 2024. Exactly. And yeah. If that wipes, well, we're, okay, yeah. If that happens. Get the, the podcast, podcast is fucked. Do it. The podcast is done. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to like. Everything, I don't know, but everything's done. The news. Everything. They won't be able to do the news anymore. Wouldn't it be like a, no a dystopian we'll, future if that happens? It will literally be. No, I feel like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Gosh. What? But everything relies. How are we going to fill right? petrol for our cars? That's electric. Yeah, but listen, listen, listen. My my dad ha- keeps fish. Right. He's got two big tanks of big, like proper big fish. Right? Yeah. Another little ones, and they rely. On like a plug, mm. so if the if the electric goes out, they're all gonna die, literally. Yeah. Oh yeah, and also all the all the reptiles and pet, like the world will lose a. And also, I've just realised electric cars and I, I mean electric cars. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> Teslas, Elon they're Musk. useless. <laughs> Sorry, Elon well, Musk, because I mean, because they're electric. I, I think it will make people more erratic. Like I think there'll be like fights around the world, like for you know, like items in stores and stuff. Mm, yeah, like remember when COVID get, like, hit, like, everyone was trying like, to buy petrol. toilet rolls. Yeah, but like petrol, like I think will be a big one. Like people will like fight over petrol and stuff. But like yeah, because petrol's the only way to travel. And to be fair, I think if that happens, everyone will be trying to travel around to see family and friends. Because the best thing you can do then is stick together. Because you can't yeah. call each other up. No. You need to go and stick together with your friends, family, wait, whatever. But, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, your phone, your phone will. You, like okay, so let's say mm. it, this happens, right? Yes. Let's say your phone's fully charged. Can you still turn it on? Like and go. Yeah, on, like, because it is a device. But if the internet goes, right, but if it, but, that means the data yeah. and the Wi-Fi is non-usable. Meaning your phone is non-usable in that aspect. And then if it runs out of charge, you can't charge it because you've not got the electric to charge that, it. Yeah, it's, yeah, everything is is gone. But if you wake up, and, and, and that's scary. Realizing how everything's it online, online scary. banking. Online banking. What are you gonna do? Yep. All your money's online. All the bank is money is now all online. If you think about it, so oh. what? What are we gonna do? The that, the, the one hundred five pounds I've got is in cash, so I'm good on that. <laughs> You're front, good, but... man. I've got more <laughs> money's in the bank. It's bad. Like, it oh, is my bad. bank card is like the thing is, my, I've got a bank card, but there's nothing on it. It's just sat there, bone idle. Oh man, this is pretty like, scary to I think put, about. Hang on, hang on. This is. I need some advice now because I was thinking about transferring all my money to my bank card right should yeah. i wait until this whole rumor of the solar storm passes first i think it's not gonna i personally think that we should just keep on living normally until no, there's it a high chance that the high that, but i like i've i've been keeping up with all the solar storm stuff and yeah they're, they're saying it is that there is a really high chance of it happening i mean it's not uh, like it's not like this meteor where it's like one in a bajillion or whatever there's me, like a really high yeah. chance of the solar storm happening and if you, it happens you, yeah. What, 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 how we, I think I think people are going to go insane. Like they're, they're, we, honestly, yeah. I think, uh, you know what, though? You know what I'm going to say? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> That's what I'm like, you know? Yeah, I'm yeah. not really caring until it happens. Like, you know, it's a possibility it happens, but I don't really care. I don't want to think about yeah, it until it happens. But it's still on. interesting to think happens, about. Yeah. But if this happens, and, all right, so the solar storm happens, resume, yeah. everything goes off. Right? Everything goes off, yeah. But It'd be a nice thing to look at, though, wouldn't it? Sure, the sky would be nice. Will it, will yeah, it be nice to look gonna... at? <laughs> right. But are you, you going to be like, oh, I can't use any of my electrics. Oh, but doesn't the sky look nice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. I mean, I right, think well, your your right. your whole career, man. Your what you're studying at college has gone you to useless then, because you're studying oh, yeah, computer science. Be, yeah. Oh yeah, it will be absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. th- what should we do? Okay, let's just say the solar storm now. Okay, everything's offline. But they won't even be able to broadcast it. How are we going to know when it happens? Like, we'll no, be because able to broadcast every- it on the news. Mm, true. Will, it, will everything just suddenly be become unusable? I, actually, that's a good point. Do you think we're about to tell in the few minutes running up to it that it's about to happen? Like, the news will suddenly have to put an alert up saying, warning. Oh, if, yeah, they'll probably yeah. do it before. Yeah. If, if we know for definitely it's going to happen. Uh, to be fair, I, I actually don't know what's going to happen because if we think about it, man, the world has survived without the internet, but now we're so used to living with the internet, it. we're relying on it. Exactly. So it'll be hard to reverse back to not relying on it, considering that we're now exactly. going more, like every single day we're reverting more to more to more online to online stuff like college exactly. is now so online. When they Everyone's say, online. So it's like, yeah, what? So when, they, when like, they say, like, oh, AI is going to like take over like jobs and stuff, but so if this happens, that, that every, single out. Job, every single job will be like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, nothing. Exactly, and like, how are we gonna get paid? Like, you can't do online banking oh, yeah, anymore. Wait, exactly, what that's like what I mean. The, the cash till that's that that's got like digital numbers on it. The what? Sorry. To buy anything. 
Like yeah, and also, and also like That's think about the patients, the patients on life support machines. Oh my, yeah. It's it's it'll, be a, it'll, be a, it'll be a catastrophe for, for some. Um, it basically, this is going to be a very interesting hey, I'm event. Ask you one final question. <laughs> yeah. If this happens, are you staying in or going outside? Because there are, if you go outside, then I don't know if you, what would happen, to be fair. Mm, that's a good point you know there might be riots that people might go mad because everyone's just so used yeah. to be online i actually think it'll be a good chance for people to come together i actually think that <laughs> like, as much as it's going to be so frustrating i actually think it's going to be a chance for the world to just stop looking at their goddamn phone and go out go and be with your family oh, and your friends yeah, but the good thing is though is that if it happens yeah at night time there won't be any like light pollution so you'll oh, be able to see yeah. like everything in the sky that'll be see, like, dead like, scary because then everything's dark you can't drive in the night. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no street lights. We'll be we'll be going back to old times. Oh, we'll be reversing. Wait, 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 wait. So like Neo, like let's say it take like Neo Tokyo for example. Oh and my Neo Tokyo, just, that's just gonna be dark. That, that's gonna be so sad. It's be it'll be dystopian almost. No, we we'll have to go back to using candles. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing we have to go back to using natural <laughs> forms of light because the lights don't work. Wow. Yeah. Oh man, that's well, gonna be. If well, this happens, then. Uh, it's fine, man. I'll just, I'll just travel over to your village and we'll just How chill. are you going to pay for the bus? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. oh what depends, are we going to do? I mean, what I are guess... we actually going to do, man? Oh, actually, this I is know. bad. I don't know. How I am I going to notify all my friends that like, fair, live in though, London I, and whatnot? I'm a guy. To be fair, though, I'm a guy, right, who yeah. likes a bit of doom and gloom every now and then, so I might find this entertaining, watching like the whole world just... Yeah, that was <laughs> it. it, it now this I'll just is like sit back it's, and smile. <laughs> it's like a horrid excitement almost. I don't know why. Like as much as the COVID was an awful. Yeah, like, I, 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 I yeah. just realised as we're talking about this, I'm like kind of excited. Like if me this too. Happens. Now here's the thing. I know that for if if the when reality sets in, it's going to be a pain, a real big pain. And and, and the same was when COVID nineteen happened. After some months, it was really. But, but I think when COVID was happening, there was, there was almost, it was weird. Like, I don't want to sound weird. I don't want to sound like I was excited for all people passing away, which is awful. I just want to say that when the COVID-19 happened, there was almost a sense of, oh, this is new. Like, what's happening? Like, a worldwide well, pandemic. Different. Yeah. And then after a while, it eventually got upsetting. So I think it'll be the same sort of reason, right? So I think when, if this worldwide cut-off happens, for the first few days, weeks, it'll be exciting. You know, oh, this is all weird. This is like new. Like, the whole world's going into some sort of... So like college, catastrophe. Like college can't be open. Yeah, because they rely so much on technology. That's what I mean. Like college is going to be. Uh, I don't know what college. I don't know what the world's going to do because we can't broadcast news. Like <laughs> in COVID nineteen, we we all went online to hear what was going on. Like the yeah, the, no, the stats, like, the everything. Yeah. With this, like my college, no you contact. Can't even get in. Like yeah. with, with my college, you wouldn't even be able to get in if the electronics cut because the gates you have to like tap your lanyard on to get and it opens it. And that runs yeah. on electronics, so you won't even be able to get into the college. That's what I mean. Like, I mean we are all stuff. What, what am I going to do? I'm on an IT course. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is, we are all absolutely stuffed if that happens. I can't lie. Uh, but the thing is, we are human beings. Human beings are very intelligent. I think we'll find a way, honestly. Yeah, we will. But like, I think they're saying if it's a really yeah. bad solar storm, it can be up to like six months. That's going to be... And then some people say it's years, and that's going to be bad. Yeah. But the day I think everything goes back online, everyone will be like, yeah! And Jazz Game Podcast will be like, yeah, it's back. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. No, so after Jazz Game, say, say, say it shuts down. Into- like, you can't call anyone if you're in trouble or anything. Like, you're vulnerable. That, yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, good hey, point. Hey, hang on. One, one last thing, because we're going on about this way too long, right? Yeah. One last yeah. thing. Why are world. you going to be... Uh, is... <laughs> is, um... Is, like... Uh, uh, I think that crime, the crime rate will go up because how are you going to call, you, people can't oh, call 999. Shoot. Wait, so but how, how did we deal with crime back in the day that when we couldn't call people up then? I don't know. That's a good point. The crime wasn't really looked at. Oh yeah, crime was not even that bad back in the old days, was it? Apparently crime was less than down on. Oh my people days. People the so they'll just commit crimes. Damn. Oh. Like yeah, people, I'm not going people, people break into that. like yeah, people, no people will break into like places and get the stuff out because the alarms have gone down. Just smash in, oh and take. God, yeah, bro. Dude, we are so and, reliant on uh, technology. It's insane. Yeah, that that is so. But all the animals that rely on on heat are gonna die. That's like millions of animals across the world are all gonna oh. die. 
or fish, whatever, and people will stop breaking into shops, taking everything. People might if you people that will have a death wish for someone, they'll go out and shoot them and kill them because there's no one out to It'd see like who did pirate. it. There's no witness. Yeah, there's no there's no cameras to what see. Like, bro, this oh is my bad. <laughs> this is bad. everything. Every measure put in place. It's just gonna it's be. It's online. Oh. It's so bad, yeah. mate. This is actually bad. We actually all rely no online. Call the police. No, no one can call the police. Yeah, but like, oh hello. Right. Oh, my phone's dead. Okay, like okay. So what are you gonna do? It, yeah. Yeah, what, oh, bro, I've just noticed something in 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 the, in the um, Asian area, like where there's tsunamis and, and, and earthquakes. They give you a warning to say, oh, a tsunami's gonna hit. There's no warning. You're just gonna get hit by a tsunami. Everyone dies. In, like prisons, like people, like I prison. Like, you know, oh my! I've just I, I saw a YouTube video. I saw a YouTube game. video where there was this prison that relied fully on online technology to stay up. Oh my gosh, man! Yeah, was there like was that just going to go into like a whole riot or the prisons? Everyone would gonna... escape. I mean, the, the prisons that will be okay are the ones with the locks, the old school locks, bars, and walls. The ones with all the electronic doors and stuff. Bam, gone. Everyone's going to escape. Yeah. Like, man, this is bad, bro. This is this is bad. Like, I'm genuinely thinking about this. This is going to be good and bad at the same no, like, time. As much as I say, oh, it'll be good for us to go outside more, I don't think we will be. Everyone will be just be panicking because the amount of crime. We won't even know if the crime is going up or not because there's no stats to tell us. It's going to be so bad, bro. Oh, exactly. no. Oh, wow. But, but I still think we'll find a way. The humans always yeah. find a way. We always seem to get through whatever there is. It's all, we're, all very, we're adaptable creatures, the human is. So... Even so, that is a massive... And I, I do think it's scary. I think we should stop relying on more online stuff. I think we should stop reverting back to having a backup plan that isn't yeah. online. Just like if your power goes out, you have a generator. Like, people are starting to be more... We are relying on too much online stuff. It's bad. Like, I don't... The more I think about it, the more I'm relying on it online every day. I mean, I'm an influencer. My whole career is online, really. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a streamer. You know? Yeah. I, how, oh, bro. How are YouTubers and streamers going to get their money? They're not. They're not. They're going to just bankrupt. I mean, Mr. Beast, they're he's they're going to have enough wrong. money to last him a, a lifetime. Yeah, he's got they, millions. But, but he's, yeah, but look at YouTubers that are big, but not big enough. So their their pay will run out. Honestly, though, if I, if like Bad. what happens, if what we're saying actually happens, like a, like prisoners escape from, you know, yeah. like prisons, uh, you know, you can't call the police, crime rate goes up. Yeah. I think that your income will be the least of your worries. You'll just focus on trying to survive. Exactly. It'll just be, it'll turn to just like, just dog eat dog world would be horrible we're like a dystopian future but like the end of the world sort of like and that, yeah. I don't like thinking about it because it, it genuinely yeah, does creep me out gone. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah let's, let's not get into a dark place hope that but doesn't yeah, happen uh, yeah. guys this is a, like, if that happens then obviously like a big like event but like the, yeah the comet as well yeah. I don't I mean the comet yeah but like if what about the solar storm I think we've got a bigger issue on our hands <laughs> if it, you know what I mean if the comet hits us that's it we're all dead yeah if, if the, the comet hits storm, us we're all dead but if the solar storm that's just suffering that's torture so it's like oh yeah. Uh, but yeah let's move on to the last little point I guess uh, yeah hopefully the solar storm doesn't hit um, yeah I'm <laughs> I made a uh, I made a forfeit video bro right? this week on YouTube I made a forfeit video it's finally out so basically the Nintendo Music Wars I ran with Eli Terp um, I lost the series I was winning but I lost um, and Eli won the series so I, yeah, I had to make a video saying 10 reasons why you should subscribe to him and, yeah <laughs> and I did it I made the video I've done it uh, and it did well <laughs> It's like, it did well. It did well. Yeah. And he got like five different subscribers. I think it was like, I don't know. He got, he got some. Oh, he, got, good, he got new subs. So, uh, yeah, he, he made me happy about that. Uh, but, yeah, man. Uh, let, me, let me have a look me, at the last. Me and Elijah have um, like banter as well. Because I saw this morning that he was playing uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. So yes. I just messaged him saying Oblivion's better. <laughs> and, <laughs> he said, he say? and he said, he, he just typed, I think it was like, you know, when you like put a space after every letter to make it look like yeah like you like just put wrong like that <laughs> yeah yeah you and yeah. i have like you're both like pretend enemies yeah. <laughs> anyway it's what's funny. the what what else is, is that it or we uh, I, 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 mean, I think I've got one more thing to say and then we'll move on to news I'm so sorry but I mean this is our podcast we chill we just talk about anything don't we that's what, yeah. that's what I say when someone says what do you do your podcast about it's literally about everything we talk about everything don't we and Nintendo yeah. we are a Nintendo podcast but we talk we've about everything well, yeah, we've got so. some good news yeah we've got some good news but uh, yeah we're going to revamp the podcast guys it's been two years almost for, it's coming up to our two year anniversary we need to upgrade you know so we're going to I'm going to be up, I'm going to be touching up the art and we're going to be recording a trailer tomorrow I think Rowan a trailer 
Going to be recording yeah. a new trailer. trailer. Finally, after two years, we've not got a new trailer. Gosh, so uh, the tra- I'm not even going to like the trailer. Uh, no, yeah. it's just. A, it's, it's, Oh man, it's it's like it's like oh, what's the best game, bro? And he's like, oh, I love something how, like and I love and I love how <laughs> yeah. like the, I love how right that like they'll they'll listen to like the new trailer and go oh let me check out the very first episode and then it's just complete yeah utter, at least like... it's uh, we also need to do a jr's gaming video don't we because like i don't know why i remember but this is the highest requested thing that all our yeah, viewers bro, are us to do like i would have been down to do a no man's sky video as well. i mean i know <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. It's so bad. I think, yeah. I think, I think. Um, also, because like I edit all the podcast videos, it'd be interesting. When we make a JR's gaming video. We'll let you edit it because you're a computer yeah. guy. We'll see what you can do. You know, you see what Ed Rowan's editing skills are like. But yeah, I mean, we still need to think about what we're going to do because everyone is saying make a JR's gaming video, an update video. It needs to be a multiplayer game, obviously. Yeah, and I like. Uh, I think. Like, oh, why don't we just? Why don't we go on Wish and just like look up Wish. items and make fun of them? Like oh should, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah. we get yeah. ideas, you know. Brain. I think me and Rowan, we need to brainstorm some things, and we'll get them things together. We'll get, we'll get a video out. Um, but yeah, don't worry about that, guys. Anyway, we'll, yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway enough Why rambling. Me? What is the news of the week? First story, Rowan. Hit us with oh, it. Me. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> story number one is. Uh, so, this is um, uh, Nintendo World, right? So Nintendo the headline World. is Nintendo World's new Donkey Kong ride will literally send you off the tracks. I hope not. That's not very That's good. The headline. But if it anyway. sends you off the tracks, then you're dead, mate. Like, all right? So let's. You're right. Let's read what they're talking <laughs> okay, about. Right. I don't think it's what it sounds like. Right? I, hope, I hope so. Well, oh. at the end of 2023, it was revealed that a Donkey Kong expansion would be making its way to Super Nintendo World in Universal Studios Japan. Now, thanks to some keen investigation from Coaster Talk, some more information has been discovered regarding the site's new roller coaster ride the ride which is based on the minecart segments of classic donkey kong country games is designed to send passengers flying into the air simulating <laughs> moments in which donkey kong would leap over broken rails in game to achieve this the ride is operated via a hidden track which holds the cart in the air to make it look like it's running on an invisible track so essentially when the cart jumps over the broken rails it's still being held secure via the hidden track below so no there will be no free falling in super nintendo world's new ride that's a lawsuit just waiting to happen oh mate i was about to say like if i read if i went to like i don't know a theme park and it said this ride will literally literally send you off the tracks i'd be like what what like okay that's just that's just just disaster how are they gonna like is there like I think I know what it means. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm a bit confused. What do you so think it means? I think it means you know how the, the there's like um. Oh, that's a good point. You know, I think it's just a, an effect. They're gonna they're gonna somehow probably have a bar at the bottom. I'd know that keeps him. I mean, this this is toying with death. I don't know about roller coasters are getting more and more dangerous. Like, what do you mean that like, they're sending you off the track? It might be like a. They might have like a rail on top as well. So when you get sent off the tracks, you're like. Hanging yeah, and what if like, the what if the solar storm happens while you're on the road? <laughs> <laughs> Back to the solar storm. <laughs> oh, you're God. absolutely, um, um, mate. You're buggered, man. If you're on, you're if you're on a roller coaster and oh, the solar yes. storm. <laughs> Let's just not go to any theme park. Just, yeah, just I, you know, I can't believe I've just realised the solar storm impacts absolutely everything. Anyway, enough solar storm. So I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, we need to stop thinking it. Uh, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, this sounds fun, but it also sounds like you know when I first read the story, man, I was like, what? What? You literally send you off the tracks? It's like, oh, this ride will kill you. Good luck. Really? Um, I mean, there is a there is yeah. a roller coaster that does the, the the prototype, the guy design that kills you at the end of it. No, oh, there's always this. is it a creepy pasta though? No, 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 it's not. A creepy pasta. Basically, he made it. He didn't actually build it because obviously it's like it, it's not allowed. But he was basically like come up with came up with the idea of this roller coaster that like right. kills you at the end. And it was designed for like old people who wanted to have fun one last time. So <laughs> what, what happens is at the end of it, at the end of the roller coaster, it like. You like go like a in like a spiral like a bunch of times, and what happens is like the like the movement from the roller coaster causes your brain to just implode. <laughs> and, that, and then they're like, Wait, you're having right, a laugh. You're pulling my leg. What you, what? I'm not. I, I, I'm, I swear. This, Someone it's sat down and was like, "Oh, the old people. You know, they're, they're, they've only got a few years like, left. Let's spin them into the air until they go <laughs> mad and die from brain loss." <laughs> what go, is this? Go, <laughs> just go. Go on. Just go on, Granddad. Your last ride. <laughs> 
Get in. <laughs> no. so, go on, Grandad. This ride will spin you around until you go absolutely oh, mad that your brain oh, eats itself. What, bro? What is it? What is it? <laughs> that was the end of the. If you look at the prototype, it was like there was a massive like drop, and then there's just like a bunch of spirals that got like smaller and smaller and smaller, and then at the end, your brain had just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad just sat in the. Wait, what do they do? Like, well, the, the ride, then, then the like, ride returns to the uh, the place where they like unboard you, and there's a load of dead granddads in the seats. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, yeah, they have to lug like all the dead bodies out. <laughs> and on the on the on the tombstone, it's like he died in a spin. <laughs> Bro, yeah, what is this? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I bet on the time stone, be like, D does time fly by, Granddad? <laughs> We miss oh, you. But Bro, anyway, that is bad. I can't yeah, believe someone bad. sat down and was like, let's make this. And it, <laughs> oh, I mean, even if I, even if I was told I had three days to live, I still wouldn't go on that because I don't want my brain to explode. I mean, that's <laughs> exactly like, to be fair, I do believe you because there was actually a, a um, there's also another prototype gaming VR set that's been designed to kill you. Oh, yeah. So, it explodes when you die in the game. Yeah, I, I think these are better, they're, they're quite scary products. Are they on the black market or something? <laughs> May I don't know. Uh, but I yeah, don't that VR headset though, just as a side rant, like you, you buy it and then like if you, you, imagine, imagine you, like, you die from like, like you're walking and then you just like you know when you die from fall damage yeah. like in Legend of Zelda and you fall <laughs> off a cliff like, by accident. That's it. Yeah, like yeah, that's it. That's your, you have to really, really beat the what game. If, like, like if, if you're trying to defeat if, Bowser and then he accidentally, you accidentally don't forget to dodge his fireball and then you just die. <laughs> Yeah, but like, what if, yeah, but uh, like, if you can, if you can tell you're gonna die, can you just like take it off and like throw it out the window? I mean, yeah, but like, there's many times we don't do that. I mean, it, they just it, imagine it just fixes to your head as soon as you put it on. So like, you try and take it off and it's you can't do it. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like a dystopian sort of you know movie sort of idea, I guess. Like the VR set that kills you, you have to like do the game, otherwise you. Yeah, it's, it's like, like Squid like Games for real life. It's yeah. like you died and it's just like. Yeah, <laughs> you just died. Anyway, yeah, back anyway. To the ride. Yeah, back to the Donkey Kong ride. Do you, do you think you're gonna go on it? Do you think you're gonna go on Donkey Kong ride? I don't know because the thing is about roller coasters. Like I, I, they, I don't like them because like, I, yeah. I was tricked. I went to. When was it? Twenty twenty. You did you it? do a YouTube no. video, didn't you? With uh. Oh uh, yeah, that yeah. Twenty twenty two. About the end. I think it was yeah. the end of twenty twenty two, right? Yeah, you, you and, collaborated uh, with another YouTuber, didn't on, you? Um, I was tricked onto going onto a ride. Like I was. They said, yeah. "Oh yeah, it's, it, it doesn't go that high." And I went on it, and I just absolutely died. Oh no. I've ne I've never been on a proper roller coaster, and it was like, oh, it was it was so bad. Honestly, oh, never no. again. Never again. Maybe, I mean, maybe again, maybe again, but not anytime soon. No, you, but Ryan, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to make you go on one with me for a oh, video, God. for a video, for content, for when you oh, show God. your. Or, or, if you haven't shown your face, I'll just blow your face in the video and put like your anime face over it. You know how they do I that in some YouTube videos. I Revealed it by then, because yeah. I think that'll be like when I'm. Um, yeah, when we both do. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I think to be fair with you, man. Like, I, th I, th I think yeah. I remember. You, I remember the video came out. You collaborated with another YouTuber, and uh, you were at Alton Towers or whatever it was. And then um, you didn't. Uh, I don't think you filmed that part because you got, you can't you film on the roller coaster, can he you? Allowed. He, he wanted to film on the roller coaster, and then I think like one of the guys like took his camera away. Like, no, you can't do that. No YouTubers allowed. <laughs> <laughs> fair, though, like, yeah. I think it's because like if he didn't have like a good grip on like the phone, it's gonna go flying out of his hand. Exactly. But like, how do YouTubers film themselves on roller coasters? Then that's really weird. I guess they like smuggle it in under they their like. They smuggle it, yeah. That's to do it. They have to smuggle it in down, for a video. Down their pants. What's yeah. that in your pants? Oh, I've just got an erection. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a hard on from the lady that works at the candy <laughs> shop, mate. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> anyway, oh, this, dear. like I don't. I'm guessing like they they. I think it, I think it's something that's on like. The top of it, yeah, like, keeps it, like oh, yeah, maybe like something still like in place, but it's still quite a nerve wracking thing. Like this, literally propels you into the air. It's a lie because it still doesn't, but it, then it seems like it is. Yeah. So interesting oh. stuff, but yeah, man, I think yeah. that's interesting. You know, Nintendo world is getting more and more dangerous, and hopefully they don't get sued, and hopefully no one dies on this new ride. Uh, but yeah, oh. what's what's story? Shall I read? Right, the, so read. Shall, shall, yeah, you're hey, the news yeah. man. Do you, you, you want to read? That? Oh yeah, good point. Shall I, shall I read some of the news? All right, okay. Yeah. So the the next story is like quite controversial. So it's something that Ubisoft has said. I'm pretty Ooh, sure. Okay. Ubisoft Okay, so I'll read two and you read three. Okay, right, let's go. So, right. story number two. It says here, players need to start feeling game. Uh, sorry, players need to start feeling comfortable with not owning games. Says Ubisoft subs boss. Um, it says here. Let me zoom in. 
on the file. Right, yesterday Ubisoft launched a rebrand of its subscription service Ubisoft Plus Premium and bought its classics package to PC. Clearly the company sees this as a step into the future of gaming <clears throat> as its director of subscriptions, Philippe Tremblay, that is an amazing name, Philippe Tremblay, uh, told gamesindustry.biz that players need to become comfortable with the idea of not owning their games. The Ubisoft Plus Premium service the Ubisoft, sorry, the Ubisoft Plus Premium Service offers offers an access to a new and occasional upcoming games on Xbox, PC, and Amazon Luna for a monthly fee that stands uh, that currently stands at fourteen pounds ninety nine or seventeen ninety nine dollars. Uh, no, it does not affect the Switch for the time being, but it does point towards the company's future approach to sales. One of the things we saw in is that games um, gamers are used to. Um, Sorry, the sentence has been messed up. We saw is that it, games are used to a little bit like DVD and having and owning their own games. That's the that's the consumer shift that needs to happen. They got comfortable not owning their CD collection or DVD collection. That's a transformation that's been a bit slower to happen in games as gamers grow comfortable in that aspect. You don't lose your progress. If you resume your game at another time, your progress file is still there. That's not been deleted. You don't lose what you've built in the game and your engagement um, with the game. So it's about feeling comfortable with not owning your game. Okay. Uh, Trem- Tremblay states... Uh, states that Ubisoft sees a tremendous opportunity for growth in this respect, though he adds that he can understand the game's perspective with the current ownership model. As people embrace the, the streaming model, they will see that these games will exist, the service will continue, and you'll be able to access them when you feel like. That's reassuring. So, what, your so what they're on this? saying basically yeah. is. Um... I'll explain it in more of a simple way because they've got Liv rambled a bit. Yeah, about rambled it on the but, article. But basically, he's saying that. He's, ga- he's saying that gamers or people that play games need to be comfortable with not mm. owning the game, like on disc or on uh, or even digitally. Because I think the the thing that they're mm. like selling is like a streaming service. So you know how like you go on Netflix sort of thing, mm. and then like you can watch like the movie. You don't have to get them. You don't have to download the movie. You don't have to. You have to buy you know, it. Yeah. Get yeah, that's what they want to do with gaming. Oh, so they're gonna stop making. CDs or cards with Nintendo. I mean, no, they're just. I think they're saying that oh, people need to like be comfortable not owning games. No, this so... this is what's the problem, man. We're <laughs> going more and more online again. Another example. I like the hard copies because you don't. It's Soda hard Storm. copy. Oh my god! <laughs> if more... the Soda Storm happens, this is why <laughs> this is completely gone. Exactly. I'm, I, don't I, don't like I, I don't like it. I don't like it, man. Related, we're just like. Reading mm. all these stories and like, like looking yeah. at what's going to happen to it if it happens. That's just ridiculous. I like the hard copy because then you know you oh, still, I love hard copies, if something yeah. happens to the Switch or anything like or the device, the PlayStation Xbox, you know you've got the copy to put on the Xbox. It's you know and you can yeah, keep you it know safe. What they're saying, aren't you? They're saying, oh, you need to be comfortable in not owning the game on this. That's, rid- that's ridiculous. That is that Actually, is the no, most biggest load of heaping com- stuff. No, that's bad. Need, Look. They're, saying, they're saying you need to be comfortable not owning the game either on disc or digitally. Like they're saying, if you don't own the game, don't panic. Like we've got this service where you you don't own any of the games, but you can still play them and save your progress. But that's not the point. That's not the point. Like that also takes up space. I mean, you need to pay for more space, mate. Like just like you can buy games off the eShop or you can download games off off the Xbox Store, whatever I it is. I love how he's telling us like Tremblay. I love how he's telling us that like we need to become comfortable with it. Well, we don't need to do anything if I. Yeah. Yeah. Disc. yeah, yeah, Tremblay, shut up. <laughs> we, we we'll do what yeah. we want to do, mate. Like, I, I think I, I think this is a perfect example of people just trying to get more and more online, and it's annoying in some aspects because I don't want that. I like the car. I bought No Man's Sky in card copy. I bought Animal Crossing in card copy. I've got Xenoblade in card copy. Xbox games CD, PlayStation games CD. Keep it like that. Don't I start. Like, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it all, all being online it's just it's just not it's something about it is not secure for me like something could happen like the solar storm you know things yeah, something could happen what, but, they're saying, but they're saying like to, to people like us you need to be comfortable with like that have like not owning the game exactly <laughs> we don't we don't we don't need to be and I'm, I'm pretty sure there's loads of people out there and let us know in the comments down below if you're watching youtube or write in if you agree that Card is the way to go. Hard back copy is my favourite way to go. And I think you agree, like, surely. I agree, yeah. Yeah, hard back copy is... It's just more reliable and it's more nicer to have the card back just knowing you've got it, you know? Like, knowing it's there. And, you know, I mean, I take care of my hard copy. I don't know if you're someone who will lose it. But, yeah, like, you keep... I keep it safe. Like, I keep the... Yeah. 
the the you know it ends like, as soon as I finished I put it back in its case, put it on the shelf where my games are. You know, it's just it's just nicer, you know. Do you agree? Do you yeah, think- yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I think I, I don't agree with what they're saying here. I don't. Yeah, because like they're saying like, oh, they don't worry because your save progress is still there, but that's not really the point. That's what I mean. Like, it's not really the point. It's just like the more of the fact that we, we what, don't want to do that. Example, like, say for example, right, if your Wi-Fi goes off, yeah, and you've got like the game, like I'm not talking about the solar storm. But if you like, <laughs> if just the Wi-Fi goes Take off, over, you, can still, you yeah. can still turn on your console and like play like your card version of the game. Yeah, you mm. can play it offline, but you can still play the game, right? Mm. But this sounds like you need Wi-Fi to like run the whole thing. And, that's and not good. yeah, if you would need wrong, Wi-Fi. You can't access any of your games. Exactly. If that what, goes wrong in whatever way. Yeah. Yeah, and also the problem with that is that I feel like this is an, I can see almost I can see this in the horizon. You know how like when you run out of storage on your iPhone, whatever it is, and it's like you need to pay for more storage. It's gonna be exactly like that. Then we're like, oh, yeah. that means it's a money grab because then they're like, oh, but then you know you want to play lots of games online. I think basically you can download like, them. You got like storage. a library of games that yeah. you can play. Like like it's like like I said, like net something like Netflix where you can just select it from like a menu, right? Mm. But the thing is, it's not really. It doesn't. I don't think that's going to really work with games because, like, it won't. It's like Netflix is like movies and TV shows are different yeah. from games. And I think the yeah. good. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. They're different from games, and also they're like, they're all different sizes. Uh, you know, and also, yeah. and it might be like downscaled to all being like Bluetooth on air. No, I think <laughs> like, use, like this yeah. service that they're promoting. You can't say if you like play. Let's say you play get like this service and they're offering some like Nintendo games and you like play mm. Xenoblade. Right, this is just an example. Mm. You play like Xenoblade. Yeah. You can't actually say, in my opinion, that you own Xenoblade because you're just mm. playing it off of, like Ubisoft's like live service. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't really. You don't own the game. It's just oh, you're playing it. That's good. Mm, yeah, it's not nice. It's like, it a, it's like playing it at a friend's house. Yeah, it's not secure. It's not like you don't own yeah. the game. And also, how are you gonna have that nice display shelf with all your games on it? Like that's what I no. like to have. I like to have all the, yeah. the little boxes. You know, all the yeah, all the too, cases. Well, you can save space on the wall by getting rid of all your games. No, but my, my shelf is for that, mate. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, but, and also, the good. I think the good thing is about Nintendo is I know they're probably not going to do that. Nintendo are. A bit no. more old. They've got more, they've got more of an old school mind, and they've always been a bit behind, behind in the times. And that's a good thing because they've still got the little cards. And Nintendo, oh, yeah. I don't think Nintendo are going to drop that anytime uh, soon. That's one thing I'm happy about. Yeah, right, hang on. Uh, but right to round off this, right? Like mm. before we go on to the final story. Mm. Um, do you think, uh, say the Switch, the Switch Two, right? It's not going to be called that, I don't think. But let's just mm. say, call it that for now. Mm. Um, do you think mm. it'll, they'll carry on the cartridges, or do you think they'll move to CDs? Mm, interesting. Well, we, uh, well, if I had a CD, then we know it's going to be a home console. Because the yeah. CD you is rocking it about. Gonna, yeah, putting that yeah. it's going to be it's going to get too hot. It's going to burn. It's not going to work. Having a portable CD player, uh, whatever it is, and so it can't go into a portable console. I would say, yeah, if Nintendo copied copied, if Nintendo moved to a home console, like a big box, like a Nintendo box, you know, it's going to be very I, that I don't, I, that could work. But I don't think I think they may again drop in sales because it's, like, it's, it's got like a, it's got to stand out between PlayStation and Xbox and PlayStation and Xbox yeah, are really really good. Still, I think if it's still yeah. like a like a obviously I, th- I think I think it's going to be still they're still going to use cartridges because like mm, I think so. If they're, if they're labeling it the Switch Two. It means it's still going to be like a Switch type device, which means it's mm. got to be a cartridge. I don't think it's going to be anything special. That's a hot take. Yeah, I Ooh, yeah okay. I actually, yeah. it's not going to be that special. All that all we've heard, man, is leaks about our oh, 4K, and it's yeah, like, that is, that it, is it just sounds like. like a new and improved Switch, man. It just sounds like another step up from the OLED. That's all it sounds like yeah. to me. I mean, I wish we learned some more like interesting stuff, like actually what it's going to look like and stuff. Mm, and and the like, fact the did, Switch yeah. too that just tells me it's going to look like exactly like the Nintendo Switch, uh, and and again. Yeah. Up to me, I'm, like I said before, I can honestly see them doing the same, like what they did with the DS, like just make, just yeah. add on to the DS like a bunch of times and call it the new mm. Nintendo Switch XL. I might actually stream the direct, you know, and see how many views I'll get. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. If you I'll do sh- that, you'll I'll, get yeah. yeah. I'll stream the Nintendo Direct live and see what, and do live reaction to the Nintendo Switch. Um, oh, wait, when the, it reveals in the next direct. When's the next direct again? 2024, uh, this year. I'm, I, need to, I need to make sure. I've got, it's in, I've got a feeling it's in October. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a hunch. Don't quote me on that. I need to check afterwards. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think... 
Yeah, I don't know. It, it is literally a shot in the dark. I don't know what they're going to do. It's all very interesting. Everyone's just holding their breath, I think, thinking what they're going to make next. And Nintendo have always been behind the times. Like, I've got mates that are like, you know, they're like, I'm never going to get a Nintendo for the pure reason they've got an Xbox and it's made more powerful and they can play like GTA 6 on it and whatnot when it comes out. You know, but I, 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 I could argue that there's mm. reason to have a Nintendo Switch yeah, exactly. and PlayStation because I, in mm. my opinion they're like the two different game libraries mm. and know. Nintendo's iconic Nintendo is iconic yeah. uh, like they have Xenoblade that's, that's, that's that game is designed for only Nintendo and it works well on Nintendo you've seen the right the game that game I'm playing on stream right now Xenoblade Definitive Edition that is a remastered Brilliant. game that was on the 3DS look how beautiful that game is it is yeah but like how on earth did they do that it's iconic you know I need the Nintendo Switch same with Zelda exactly. So I think there's like a Pokemon reason, Arceus. Like, we forget that happened. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can yeah. run that on my grandma's <laughs> smart fridge. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, mate. But the yeah. thing is, is that like I, like, yeah, like I said, I think there's a there's a good reason to have like a Nintendo Switch and either an Xbox or PlayStation because exactly. you, you can play like most mm. of the games. I highly agree with you, man. Highly agree with you because mm. that's the that's that's the only, that's the best way, really, because you've got a, a wide range of all sorts of games, and Nintendo is really iconic and if you're a nintendo fan it's just obvious and nintendo is definitely worth a shot and i've got mates that have tried it and they're like it's, it's, it's good and i've got most of my most of my friends anyway are nintendo fans you know nintendo yeah. people attract nintendo people it's how it works so you know but um yeah, yeah. it's you thing like no we're, we're no. not gonna do this we're disagree keep buying discs yeah. thumbs down thumbs down on this one can't lie and even if, that's the thing even if it's not a disc even if you buy it digitally you still are you well you don't own it as much as a disc but you still it's mm. still your game, right? If you mm. get it on digital. Exactly. This is just like a subscription. And if you stop paying the subscription, then you lose all the games. Damn. Oh, yes. Yeah. Subscription. It's also a money grab. It's also it's a money grab. It's 14 99 a month. So if you, if you like what? cancel your subscription. Nah, no. no but if you cancel your subscription, no. the next month, you, you won't be able to play any of the games anymore. So your save yep. file will be there, but you won't be able to access it because it's on a subscription. You've not yep. paid it for that month. Exactly. Exa exactly my point, man. It's, it's, it's rubbish. It's a bad idea. It should not happen. Get rid of it. Mr. What's his name? Twatty Tremblay. Get out of here, man. Your idea's rubbish. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, <laughs> Game companies these days are just shooting themselves in the foot. They are. I don't know. What, they're all just shooting in the dark. Oh, let's make a, a I don't know, a, a rhinoceros that talks. No, that's a bad idea. Next. Let's make a subscription service on Ubisoft. No. Next. Someone come up with something new and innovative, please. Uh, Gosh. <laughs> anyway. anyway story. Uh, story number three. Number three. What's going on? Um, so, you know, uh, this is called, this says retailer game is officially ending physical trade-ins in the UK. Ooh. Now, if you don't know, game is the, uh, basically like, if you're in America, you've got GameStop. Mm. That's basically your game store. Game is like a game retailer in the UK. It's a very lazy, they just called it game. Yeah. But, I mean, it is, it's just the British people, isn't it? Well, it's lazy. Our, ga our, like, our game stores are quite weird. Game is just, they just called it game. Yeah, CEX. I mean, that just speaks for itself. Before we it? before we read, I'm I'm pretty sure game's shutting down. Am I correct? <gasps> Is it? I, no. So yeah, I was in CEX and I was speaking to one of the managers when I bought No Man's Sky about um, game, and he was like, "Oh, the game is shutting down. You know, they're not doing well." And I was like, "Wait, what? I was wait, like, what? wait, wait. Are you, are you sure that's not just him going? Oh, your game's shutting down. Come to us. Come yeah, to us. is game shutting I mean, down? I don't. Uh, it might be. Uh, is no, game? I'll read this first. I'll read this first because it's a, a, tr physical tradings have been like a massive part of game. So I'll read this right. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. They're not. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're not. They're not shutting down. Yeah, it was wrong. All right. Good. <laughs> Fraser's Group, which owns the retailer after purchasing it in 2019 for £52 million, confirmed the news with the BBC earlier today in a statement. A spokesperson told the news outlet, as a part of the integration of game, we will be pushing out the trade-in, pre-owned and game elite offerings in the UK over the coming months. Pre-owned is still available in our standalone stores across the UK while stock lasts and game elite will still be available until the end of summer. No specific date has been given for the end of trade-ins besides the 16th of February one provided to Eurogamer yesterday, but the services are being winded down with the Game Elite reward program coming to an end by the summer. Note that consoles haven't been mentioned. After the trade-in service for video game ends, game will continue to sell pre-owned stock until it runs out. That means that those in the UK will be more limited in where they can trade in their older games. Wow. So mm. you, you know, you know how like the trade-ins are basically. If you know you got like a game that you don't play anymore, yeah. you can go to like um, say if you've got like a 
fifty dollar game that you bought, mm. you can go to game and they'll give you like two pounds for it because yeah. they're lazy. But you can like, like a bit of money, a bit of pocket money. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but one thing is that I don't know why they're doing. I don't know why they're doing this because it doesn't lose them any money. Mm. I having trading is a thing. It's, it's weird when companies make a, a decision that loses the money, like the eShop. Nintendo shut down the eShop, but that was giving them money. Still a bit of an income. Yeah, that's weird. And it is a bit of a nostalgia gone for me. Because I remember when I was a little kid, I loved going in and trading some of my DS games in for another one. The thing is, as well, though, is that like, the trading values, like, yeah. in terms of money, were absolutely, like, terrible. Because you could go mm. in with, like, a game that you bought for, like, £30. And then if you go in, they'll, they'll give you, like, £2 for it. What? No, yeah. But, the, the, I, mean, I remember when I was a little kid, but I wanted to earn a pound for an ice cream. That was fun. I remember going in with my yeah. dad and like trading a game. I think it was Tom and Jerry DS or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry DS for an ice cream. I'll take the DS game. Yeah, yeah. Tom and Jerry DS, man. I didn't want it. And I remember going to game and trading. <laughs> Wait, and I got, you, like, buy it, you bought it, didn't like it, and then took it back. No, actually, when I was in school, I like I think I was this little kid, um, and like we, I said, if I win this bet, you got to give me one of your DS games. But even when you're a little kid, the DS is the biggest thing, you know. It's, yeah, everyone was a kid, and uh, this this child was like, well, we're all children. I was like ten, and this she was like, yeah, okay, I'll give you my Tom and Jerry game. And I remember, I remember waiting in the playground, like, yes, I'm getting Tom and Jerry. And uh, yeah, she gave me Tom oh, and Jerry, yeah. and I got yeah, I put no, in the DS. Well. It was rubbish, a load of pile of rubbish. Uh, they were like, oh, <laughs> went went to game and traded. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but any, and when did, she, did they ever ask oh how's that DS game I got you I think I lied it was like yeah, it's fun but like I traded it in just got well, uh, two here's pounds a story about DS for me was. right is that uh, mine's kind of similar but I'll say um, I didn't have to do anything to get it like one of my one of my mates in like when I was in reception mm. uh, he used to like take our DS's in and stuff and he yeah. like, was playing this Ben 10 DS game ben it looked 10. really fun yeah. yeah, Ben 10. No. He, he was paying that. And then he said, and then he took it out of the DS, gave it to me and said, oh, you're allowed to keep it. I was oh. like, okay. So I, t- so I was really happy with this DS game, right? I took it home, put it in my DS, yeah. having the, having a blast with it. It was like a proper fun game. Yeah. And then my, par- my parents noticed and they, ma- they made me give it back to him. No, I hate when yeah, parents yeah. do that when you're little. Like, like... They, were, they were like, Henry, I was like, what? He was, he was called Henry, I think. Yeah. And I was like, Henry told me I could keep it. And they were like, yeah, but um, it's his game. You've got to give it back to oh, him. Oh, no. I was so sad for like, the rest of the day. Oh, and I had to give it back to him yeah. the next day. And he was like, what? You're allowed to keep it. And I was like, yeah, my, my parents are making me give it back to you. It was I was distraught for like a few days. Oh, you're distraught. That Ben 10, the amount of memories you're going to create with yeah. that Ben 10 game. And, and Oh, man. I, you, I, guess, you, I, know, I, know, yeah. I know my parents were just doing it because like yeah. you know like it's his game but still it's like you know when like, your kid's young and like i can imagine like if my i mean i'm, a, I'm that dad though if i had a kid i wouldn't really care but like, okay henry gave it to you but i can understand like, my, <laughs> yeah, parents, yeah. my parents were the same i think when i was a kid i think um i did i had no i got a water bottle from a kid like a brand new i asked him to buy me one and he gave he's like have it I went home and like i was about yeah i was a young little kid at the time my parents i think my dad was like where'd you get that son and i was like oh my friend gave it me and he's like no no no, you don't just get water bottles for free like that what have you done and i was like <laughs> well i, I said it's he yeah, just gave yeah. it me it's free and he's like no no no, you give it back to him tomorrow please and i was like no because i really wanted that water I think, bottle i think that's sort of like a rule that like they follow <laughs> parents yeah i don't know it's like yeah it's like a rule it happens i, I get you and that happened but then again ryan but you you that didn't stop you that didn't stop the legacy because i remember when he, me and you were like 13 you, you, you carried on Henry's legacy because you gave me Pokemon Y. <laughs> oh, that? yeah, I did. Yeah, he carried... And the, the, thank Wait, you, our parents did yeah, you, you said to me, you said to me, like, oh, have you got any, like, game, 3DS games that you don't use? This is yeah. when the hate shop was, like, never even thought Yeah, this is when the 3DS like, was big and it, nostalgia was fun and everyone loved the 3DS. And, like, so I looked through my DS games and yeah. I, was, I was like, oh, I've not played this in, like, years and years, so I gave that to you and you, yeah. you enjoyed oh, it. Mate, you now, created like, the best I, memories. I, H yeah. shop, well, what's it? The H shop. I just got it back. For free. Yeah, exactly. You did. That's what's funny. Funny thing is though. The funny, the funny thing about Rowan is that was my first ever Pokemon game, and like you don't understand how many memories you created. Oh. I have over. I started, guess how many? I started your Pokemon. You journey. did. You did. So that's the thing, right? You definitely you didn't know how much that meant because guess how many hours I played that. What? Three hundred plus hours I put into Pokemon. Oh. Y. Yeah, Wait, does, I hey, the, never stop playing hour? that game. Yes, I know. I, it does. It does on, on, on the little Pokemon save file. It says the hours that you were playing it for. Oh yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And uh, basically, as soon as Ryan gave me that Pokemon Y game, I put it into my DS, and I fell in love. That was my first ever Pokemon DS game. 
and that was when I was yeah. what, 13 years old back in the day when DS was big and like yeah. every single day man I got home from school I was so happy and excited Pokemon Y Pokemon Y get him Pokemon Y mm. Pokemon Y and I pa- catch a new Pokemon I completed the story but when I completed the story I did not stop there I did. I just kept on playing it kept on playing it collecting Pokemon breeding Pokemon trading Pokemon but playing with people online it was oh, yeah. I, 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 that game the- is like the best like, you literally like you You literally created memories that I'm never going to forget yeah. that game is so nostalgic so man thank you you don't understand how much the, yeah, you fine. like thing paved is, memories yeah. by giving me that game it, uh, a more recent uh, story as well is um, yeah. when okay I think I, this was when I first modded my 3DS yeah. I was like I got Pokemon Sun yeah <laughs> and then yeah. Um, uh, I went into it because you had Moon so you told me to get Sun so I, yeah. I got Sun played a bit of the story and yeah. you gave me like a level like two one level 100 Pokemon for like a yeah, software yeah because I have a like, mod where you can make any, you can create a Pokemon from scratch Pokemon yeah, from you scratch, did, and yeah. then you traded it to me, and I, I if, yeah. if like if anyone was like watching us trade, like it would yeah. be like I gave him like a level two like Pidgey, and he gave me like a level one hundred Snorlax. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing is that's the sad thing when that goes down in March. How are we going to trade Pokemon? How are we going to battle? Hey. Oh man, yeah, that's the, that's the, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Me? no more modded Pokemon no, okay. for you. Okay, listen, listen. Yeah. Any anyone who's out, anyone who's like in the modded 3DS community. Yeah. I trust you to make your own like fan made server and please keep the, keep the server up because I oh my yeah. gosh I think right we need to play a bit more Pokemon when you got free time for in, just in case yeah. just in case we never get that memory back but we should do a bit of Mario Kart and Pokemon together shouldn't we yeah I'll uh, find yeah. my DS oh yeah, yeah you need to find that 3DS man <laughs> quick <laughs> yeah, yeah. before it shuts down <laughs> quick oh man it's sad but anyway. uh, yeah I think yeah I mean yeah what what's, what was the yeah trading games yeah I think it's I don't know because it's not a feature that is that important. It's just no, that you know, it's really. just it's just interesting to they're shutting it down. But it does make sense. Like they're probably getting what ten pound five for every five months. Because not maybe not many people use it. Um, and you can still trading. You can still take a game to like CEX and get a lot of money for it. Like yeah, CEX aren't stopping. Yeah, yeah, they they're not stopping. You can you can get fifty pounds if you got a black and white. I remember I, I started like a crime ring with some of my friends. <laughs> friends, it's not good. Like when I was like in I was fifteen years old, I started like a crime ring of game um, laundering, if you like. Like we we hacked to, like we hacked into like th- the DSs and like we got the ROMs for Pokemon Black White and whatever, and we somehow like my mate. Like who was the, the head of this little mini gaming crime ring when I was like fifteen? We were like we're, we're all like, working hard behind the scenes to like mod and like duplicate these games and then we well, put them into different boxes and then we put them, spent sex and made like uh, CEX and made like three hundred quid. Oh it was, it, wow! Yeah, it was. How did you put it in like? Wait, how did you put it in like a? Mm. What, how did it make it look like an official three DS? This, this was years ago, so I, I can now talk about it. Like it was just being us being twats. Like it shouldn't have done this, but yeah, basically. How did you put it in the cartridge. But we bought. We bought. Basically, you, know, you can get just any DS game, right? We bought loads of. Aha! Here was what we did. I remember now. Uh, so like me and my four friends, I was one of the hackers. I helped along with the process of hacking the games. Uh, you know, like you know, like uh, you can hack a 3DS. Um, basically, yeah. what we this was DS, you know, black and white, right? So we got DSs. Yeah. We got we bought loads and loads and loads of the multi copy DS games that you can buy for like twenty quid. Uh, you can get. Um, you can buy, you know, it's loads and loads and loads of games on there. There's like 300 plus DS games on there. Oh, yeah, you can use yeah. those to... Yeah, yeah, you can use those to transfer files. So what we did is we used loads of those games. We bought about five or six of them, I think. And then we just, like, put all the ROMs onto a file on the computer. I did this anyway. Like, I helped along with it. Uh, then I just dupl- I did this for my mate as well. Like, I, I, recently, I duplicated some ROMs for him. But it wasn't, it's not illegal. Hey, but did you, how did yeah. you... Okay, I'm th- on the cartridge, right? Did you get, like, the sticker where it says, like, yes, black and white? Yes, we, we, then someone else used some stickers, printing, and then put it over the top, black and white. I don't know how we did it, but I don't know how CEX didn't find out because it still was quite a crappy process. But we like we sold seven so did you put, uh, old just Pokemon put games. The, yeah. So did you just put the black and white sticker over the top of the other one? But yeah, it aligned perfectly because oh, we researched nice. it. It was it was organised crime to its finest, man. Imagine it. Oh, that's like that, you know that's what they yeah. do with like fake Pokemon cards. Like have you yeah. seen that video of Logan Paul like eating yeah. his dinner? And the, yeah, like, and he pr- punches the like, window in. Yeah, it was, yeah. That, that's like the only. That's like we felt like. But, you know, we felt like top end criminals thing, though, doing this because we made, we made working... 300 pounds more on it. Right, but the guy who was working there, <laughs> yeah. did he not like think, like, why are these guys just have just got 
20 copies of Pokemon uh, Black and White. We were, again, this was this was teenage organised crime, man. We uh, went to different CXs and we uh, <gasps> different people, different people that gave in the genius. games. That yeah. is absolutely genius. Yeah, because yeah, if you just went to one and just handed them 20 copies, they'd have like, yeah. known that something was. Like, yeah, this, this once know. we all once they took us about uh four months to complete. We had to, I had to help on ha I had to help with hacking it. The other mate had to help him with the stickers. The other mate had to help him doing other stuff. Boxes, we had to get the boxes right. Somehow get hold of all the boxes for different games. Uh, and yeah, once it was all complete, we went to different CEXs, dished them out with different people. Try that. You, you would know. never know. Actually, no, no, I'm not going to try <laughs> that. No. I mean, now it. W I mean, it could work, but it's just harder to get hold of them. Yeah, you know, these days. Uh, because that's like, how it's hard, fake yeah. DS games are made then. Yes, yeah, so basically this was but this was back in the day when the eShop was all in stock. What we did was highly illegal. And maybe I'm a bit in danger of saying this, but you know, I'm, I'm in no shame. It's just me being a twat when I was a little. But yeah, that's the, like, the biggest organised crime I've ever done. <laughs> the S crime. Thing is, like, if, I'm if a that, former if one, DS if criminal. A, if an expert bought one of those copies, they yeah. would know it's fake because it's got, yeah. like, there's like a code on the back. Then if like you type mm. in the code, you can see what game it corresponds to. So if yeah. they typed in the code on that, it would bring up the the original game that you put over the top of it which was the yeah like, that's weird because i game. gave in i was one of the one of the people to give him uh, a certain cx and i remember being so nervous standing in like i acted like oh this pokemon black please and it took how it. many pokemon blacks did you wait so how many copies did you make we we made i think it was 12 and, right, each, so and they, they went for like how many copies did you give like uh, all of time? them uh oh we, we went for different cexs and we gave in the games the different like, well, like did you, so did you go to 12 different cexs i think i think no but here's the thing we did it over a span of a few days though that's the thing we went to oh, we right, said, yeah, yeah we, we did, we did do it strategically this was like a few years ago like, yeah it was interesting like but we CX somehow aren't, like in close proximity i know it was weird i don't know how and the I'm, guy remember, fair, remember the like guy the looked at it he opened the box he didn't get his scanner out either he was like yep that's the game man how would you like, nice one buddy which gave us yeah Nice. Oh yeah, because if they like, if there, was like, quid, a, like a, if there was like a game expert behind there, and they found out that it was yeah. fake, what would they do? I think now they've cracked down upon it, but you can't get yeah. away with it now. But they scan it. I think he just now. like peeled yeah. off the sticker. Yeah, he didn't. It was. It was I've got to give it to my to my, that little mate crime ring we did. Like, that was like only for DS games, by the way. I didn't do anything else. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was. Um, that was it was yeah, strategic. We like planned easy, this. Yeah. We like we, we literally sat sat down, bro. It's like around the table and was like, let's do this this way that way. We did a different plan A, plan B, and it worked. We got three hundred plus pounds at the end of it, and we dished it out it, to the I lot. Think it's, I think that's uh, it would that would be harder to do on like yeah. PlayStation games. Oh yeah, it's it the yes, it's it's people took advantage of it, and you know, it's like now I think you can't do that. Like be, you're, you're a higher risk of CH being like, nah, mate, this is this is fraud because like. I think um, it still happens though. They, like not with trade ins, but like a guy ordered mm. like a copy of like uh, Pokemon Emerald something. Yeah, it was like something like Emerald, right? And he he got it, and it was like what you just described. Mm, exactly. People exactly. still do it, but like to sell them like online and not to like yeah. give to CEX. Yeah, we're not the only people that, that have done that. No. <laughs> people do that all well. the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Judas Crime is Pass. Time, uh, is it time for an ad break now? <laughs> but yeah, I think it is time, guys, for an ad break. Then we'll be back with your questions of the week. So, ad break. Hello and welcome to the JR's Gaming Podcast. I am Judas Terry, the host of this podcast. And if you are a regular listener to this podcast, you would know that me and Robin both love hearing feedback from our listeners. Each week at the end of each episode, we have a great time reading out emails that are sent in to us. We read out and answer your questions, comments, and even complaints. So if you have something to say to us, do get in touch and write in an email to jailsgaming135 at gmail.com. That is jailsgaming135 at gmail.com. T's and C's do not apply. On with the show. And we're back from the ad break, and we're back. Right, the break, loved, right, loved, loved it. <laughs> and we're back with your questions of the week. And this week, right, we've, this I think this is the first time we've actually had, or well, the second time we've had a, a full blown mm. story. Someone's written. So this is more like this is to, this is more like story of the week. This isn't really a question as per se. Let me show the camera for you guys. It, there is a massive long email um, that one of you guys have written in, and we're about to read they've it gone, out. I, I have to say they've gone they've gone crazy with the emojis. I like it. I like the emojis. <laughs> so this week we have a question from Sakura. Sak we split this Sakura. Up. Yeah. Should we like Should we, that's a good point though. Shall I say the I first say the three sentences and then you said the first three and then I'll say the last two? What do you mean? 
three I don't paragraphs. Yeah. Yeah, three paragraphs. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah, that's fine. this is from Sak- Sakura, Sakura from Japan, which is a very nice name actually, because Sakura means cherry blossom, and she even she even put the little cherry blossom emoji emoji to say. But she's from Japan, so this is very good English if your English is your second language. You may I don't know if you, this is your second, but you've been you've been very good English, Connor. Uh, but anyway, so I'll read the first three and then you read the first three and i'll use the last two right okay yeah. so subject is oh my god you won't believe what happened in animal crossing right an animal crossing story nice hey nintendo ninjas mate that's that's new isn't it nintendo ninjas we've never that's had a true, yeah. nintendo i love that oh my god i can't even right now my name is sakura and i'm repping all the way from <laughs> cherry blossom land of japan just wanted to share this wild story that happened to me in animal crossing it feels like a real life drama but with cute animal villagers so picture this picture this guys it's a sunny day on my virtual island and i'm not and i'm strolling around fishing for sea bass and whatnot well sea bass are the most common fish in the entire game so uh suddenly this mysterious character named gulliver washes up on my beach i'm like hey what's up dude he's all knocked out and mumbles something about being a pirate or spaceman honestly i couldn't quite catch it i decided to help him out and you know being the good islander i am little didn't i know i was gonna be on a whole adventure gulliver starts asking for communicate communicator parts that are scattered all over the beach so i'm sprinting around digging up the sand like a maniac trying to find those dang parts i do know what she's on about i've played the game rowan on, on to you right so i'll read the two these well three actually uh, three yeah all right Finally, after what felt like a century, more than ten, more like ten minutes, I collect all the parts <laughs> and give them to Gulliver. Dude wakes up and he's like, "Arigato!" Oh, I, I, Arigato. Actually, I've, heard oh that, yeah. I've heard that one before. I've yeah. heard, is, that, is that like a greeting? Yeah, Arigato. Arigato is actually thank you. So you're on the same. Yes, yeah, so oh, yeah. yeah, thank yeah. you. Ari, uh, it's like Arigato or Arigato gozaimasu. I, I don't know. How, I don't know where I've heard that, but um, uh, maybe anime. Somewhere. You're an anime yeah. fan, probably anime. Arigato. <laughs> Okay, he's Sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah, he spoke Japanese. How cool is that? But here's the plot twist. He doesn't remember where his spaceship or pirate ship is. Now I'm on a treasure hunt to find this guy's ride, thinking I've stumbled into an Animal Crossing episode of Lost or something. Mm. Uh, right. The last one for you, yeah, the last paragraph. After, yeah. after hours of searching, guess what? I find it hidden behind some trees. Like Gulliver just wanted to keep it on on the down low i help him fix his sh- up his ship and he's super grateful as a thank you he sends me this rad souvenir from his space travels an alien themed rug my animal villagers are now obsessed with it like it's the coolest thing ever anyway thought you guys might enjoy this wild animal crossing tale keep up the awesome work on the podcast i listen to every episode while i'm fishing for more sea bass or catching bugs with my net sending virtual high fives from japan sakura that's a not that's such a heartwarming nice. story because she's basically just uh, telling us about catching parts. Well, no, she's telling us that she basically Gulliver, the the sea the seagull that makes you go on a massive adventure looking for his communicator parts in New Horizons. And he's always been in the other games where he makes you do something for him, and then he will send you a item in the post. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, have you ever come across Gulliver playing Animal Crossing, mate? I haven't. I no, you've I not. Got to that point, yeah. Oh, I mean, need to play yeah. it more. You need to go on the beach more. That's what it is. In the Animal Crossing, you need to, when you next log in, go on the beach and run about and see if you can find a seagull yeah. washed up on the shore. But yeah, what do we think of that, Ryan? That is, I like how she's detailed the story really nicely, and she listens to every episode while playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, I like that bit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, and I like how she's from Japan as well, the land where Nintendo was born and where I want to go. I love Japan so much. Like, ge- genuinely want to go. Before the solar storm happens. <laughs> and Neo <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> Is that the title of this podcast? <laughs> solar storm will stop everything. Do you think it be should honest, be? Is that, that going to be the title? Because we've talked. that's like the main thing we've talked about. All, all right, this we'll time. make it happen. Solar storm will destroy everything. <laughs> solar storm will wipe off the internet. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you've got to timestamp this bit, like, big. Like, time... Maybe just chat about the solar storm. Yeah, yeah, the solar oh, storm's going to be, a, like, a big section. It is. Yeah. Oh, man. But, yeah, I've got to say, though, before we, before we end the episode, a big thanks to you, Rowan, because you do do the timestamps, and that's a big big yeah. thing, and I produce. So, it's a team effort, you know? But any team last, effort, yeah. yeah. Or any, anything you want to say to Sakura from Japan? Um, thanks for watching every episode. Um, yeah. Keep playing Animal Crossing, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Keep trying to catch uh, more. Whoa, sea bass. What? That's the thing. What? You, you yeah. said sea bass are the most common. They are the, the most common fish, and they drive me nuts because they're only like 400 bells worth. 
So interestingly, well, she, she actually likes catching sea. She bass. likes catching sea, but that's interesting. That is very interesting. And what, what, could you write back and tell us why do you like catching sea bass, particularly sea bass? But yeah, man, yeah, it's uh, yeah. So that's that's the question of the week. Tell us, tell us mm. why. Right back in. But anyway, guys, it's been a good episode this week. As uh, talking about solar storms and everything and, else. Uh, yeah, solar storms. <laughs> Quite Any literally, yeah, just solar storms. <laughs> anyway, guys. Well, like, yeah, we linked yeah. every like, every news story we linked to the solar storm. We yeah. were like, oh, well, if the solar storm happens, <laughs> this is not going to be able to happen. Yeah, but the solar storm happens. This, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know why, but the solar storm has already seemingly taken over the world just by its presence. But anyway, guys, please send in your questions and comments to jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. Like Sakura did to get your questions slash story read out on this podcast. Uh, please subscribe or follow us on whatever platform you're listening from. Leave us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever else you're listening from as this will help us out greatly and get the podcast around the socials will be in the description below our instagram youtube twitter website and our discord server community server please join it but until then it's a goodbye from me goodbye from me